Hey Virgo, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to your love reading for October. We're going to get right into it. First, I want to say thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate you being here. There's a lot of great tarot readers on YouTube and um, your time is, is very valuable. So I'm going to make it worth it to you. If you'd like for me to pray for you, send you my good energy, say hi in the comments section so I've got something that represents your energy I can focus on. And I encourage everybody to do the same for each other, if you feel like it. And of course, um, I thank you for hitting the like button on your way in. <laughs> All right, you guys, love for Virgos. We're gonna start with uh, just getting a general feel for what's going on. Then we're gonna get a, a card out for the challenge and then stick to the very end that's going to be where we kind of resolve it we bring it together with a little bit of advice from oracle and tarot okay you guys so only taking the cards that fly out on their own the um that flew out in your pre-shuffle the cards are um going to be read upside down if they fly out that way the cards have all been pre-shuffled so keep that in mind i like to do that off camera so that we save time um all right you guys these came out together this really um works hand in hand with your pre-shuffle so this is about justice something being balanced in love that was out of balance and it largely has something to do with your stability we have uh four of wands this is the card of celebration, stability, our support groups. So it's stability on all fronts, right? So in the realm of a relationship reading, a love reading, this is about the people and the relationships that make us feel stable in the world. And then we have the justice card out, out upside down. And that's talking about something that just felt plain unfair. Okay, so we'll touch back on that in a sec. Just give me a sneak peek right now. The two cards that flew out right next to each other is the magician out, out with the 10 of wands. This is about closing an exhausting chapter in love. This could be getting over somebody. This could be drawing boundaries and saying, hey, I need to create the closure here. This could be a sense of obligation coming to an end. All of you guys are going through different things. But what's cool about this is it's coming out with Magician. So on the heels of closing this exhausting chapter, you are recreating a new one. This has a lot more energy. Look at the, the two colors. Everything is symbolized in color and images and tarot. This is blue, it's dark, both on the earth and above. We've got bright yellow just beaming through. So you're going to have a push of energy and inspiration possibly feeling freedom um, inside, your, in, inside your theme of relationship here. And then we've got a very interesting card, which is Four of Swords. And this is talking about gratitude. It's talking about inner quiet. It's about going inward, observing, and reflecting. So let's unpack these, you guys. In love, Four of Wands for our Virgos. What is the stability? The stability... Um, reaching a milestone with stability. It's a great card. We have Page of Swords. This is communication, a new idea, a new concept. These could be talking to new people as well. Let's, let's get a little bit more out on that. Three of Swords. I'm going to come back to that in a sec. I'm not going to talk about it yet. Justice in reverse. What does this mean? This is, seems like it's somebody you know very well being unfair to you. The hanged man with the two of swords. You're getting a different perspective on this person or this scenario. Something needs attention, and if you don't pay attention to it, um, it's going to hurt more. And so that's what you're going to do in October, is you are swooping in with that practical side of you, Virgo. And now that you know, it's like realizing that without giving it this special kind of attention... 
thread is on fire without giving it this special kind of atten intention, attention and intention, I guess. <laughs> it's It could run away with itself. It's going to cause just more anguish. So you're putting an end to it. You're buttoning up that chapter. And let's talk more about that. When you do this, you're going to be very aware of some of the old habits you got into. My nose is itching, that's a sign. That you don't identify with. They were never you in the first place. You say to yourself maybe, how did that, how did I become that? Or how did I lose my confidence? Or how did I let this person or this thing that happened gouge at my self-esteem. It's not me. That's not me. When you put down this burden of the Ten of Wands, that's the reason you pop up into the magician because you realize you're free of not only the, comp the influence that was making you limited, but you can also free the thoughts Free the self-talk that was attached to it. You're realizing your role in it. Four of Swords comes next, and this has something to do with that. You're realizing from a practical standpoint your role in it and that you have choice and you're free. Four of Swords, this reflecting. This is, you dodged a bullet. Tower card, upside down. You dodged a bullet and I think you're going to know it. I think you're going to sit back and be like, wow, if that had kept on going, if I had kept on just standing back and letting this go, it could have been bad. Anything else on that? So you stuck by your guns, seven of wands. You fought through any doubt, any inner doubt, any outer doubt. Voices maybe telling you what to do. And you stuck true. You stayed true to an inner voice here. You got out of trouble. Anything else? So let's ask the tarot, what is the challenge here? I want this one. What is the challenge here for Virgos? that lies before them. That they need to be aware of. Boxing yourself back in. Forgetting that a whole world lays out there before you. The world literally upside down. Becoming complacent. Because you have such happiness. The Ten of Cups. And the four, first card out, last card out. And the four of wands. You have such happiness, stability, and joy waiting ahead of you. Just don't box, your, box yourself in. You don't have to regress. You, once you've seen it, you can't unsee it, right? You can't go back. And I know you're agreeing with me right now. So let's ask Tarot for advice, okay? We're going to put these back in the deck. Give it a shuffle. Advice from Tarot for my Virgo in love for October 2023. Advice. And it's kind of funny because it's redundant, right? Like the challenge was also the advice. But let's ask. Taking control. Emperor card. Taking control of your life. This is about taking control of your life. Getting unstuck. You had her before. And how do we take control, right? We can't control the actions of others, but we can control ourselves and we can control our thought processes. We can control them by recognizing them. And that practical side, the earthy queen of pentacles can step up because ruled by Virgo as well, can step up for yourself, do it for yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, we have intuition. So you've already got what it takes. You know, you've, you've got this, boo. 
All right, I hope that's helpful. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to hang out more at the treehouse and I'll talk to you soon.